Hey folks, Whip here, and welcome to episode two of season two of our hardcore survival let's play. Thank you all so very much for the support on episode one here. You all are absolutely amazing, so thank you so very much for that. If you are still enjoying the series, please be sure to click that like button down below, but some people left some amazing suggestions, one of them being right here that we could replace some of these slabs that we had on top of here with a few buttons to help it feel a little less flat. When we put slabs and everything all over this place, it was feeling a little rough. And then also somebody said, well, hey, flip, um, that's mob spawnable down here. So you know what that means? We need more spruce buttons. And thankfully, we still have a few. I'm hoping 10 will be enough for this. And perfect, one to spare. What I wanna do today, my friends, is get ourselves a few animals as well as work around our uh, base house. House, let's go with house a little bit here. And we can start by getting a little bit more food rock in here and gathering up a lot of wheat, which we can eventually start using for breeding some animals. We have a lot of horses in the surrounding area, which I think is absolutely awesome, as I would love to tame a horse today and do a little bit of exploring and just doing more that day of the starting grind for the hardcore world. We need to get ourselves geared up. We need to get ourselves equipped. And you all left a lot of great tips for me to help stay alive in this time. Like for one, blast protection four, and then three pieces of protection four, probably a smart thing to do. Thank you for that one. One thing I was actually pretty surprised about, pleasantly surprised about, is a lot of people actually said that, Flip, why don't you just use the Mushroom Island? That's pretty rare to have and it's in the game so it's not really cheating. So I think for a secondary base and maybe some sort of a city or something, cause then we could really start to play with the light levels. I love the idea of using the Mushroom Island. I believe it is directly straight out this way. So I wanna take this boat right here and actually go do a little bit of mining around in the Mushroom Island. If we can find a cave over there, we could just run around and grab all the iron we could ever need and not really have to worry about any mobs unless we find a spawner and completely forget and then we'll probably die, but it'll be fine. It'll be great. It's gonna be a great time. Goodbye, my sweet home. Hopefully we will be back for you. You might have noticed, by the way, I added a few little changes to the roof, like a little window and added some sticky outy bits at the end because it felt a little flat. After I finished recording episode one, I was so excited to keep playing here. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep on going. There's the drowned village that we found. So it should be right off over here. The sun is setting and I don't have a bed. So I think we're gonna actually stop on this island over here and see if we can maybe find some sheep that could uh, donate their wool to the cause of keeping us safe in this hardcore world. I'm sorry it's in front of your kid. And three pieces of wool, perfect. What more could we need? Now we can skip the night as we go. The white travel bed, the staple of any Minecraft player. Now, as far as I'm aware, the only threats that we have to deal with on top of a Mushroom Island or even underground a Mushroom Island is one, mob spawners, as I've mentioned before. Two, the dangerous mushrooms. They really are out to get you. I swear they're evil. Three is we could have phantoms. If we don't sleep too often, they will still spawn on the Mushroom Island. And then you also get little pockets like this where it's actually the ocean right here on the edge of the Mushroom Island. So we gotta be careful of that too. Definitely safe to sleep right here. Yeah, mm -hmm, totally. This could be kind of a fun project to do. I think if we do tackle the Mushroom Island, I wanna get rid of the mycelium, at least in the places that we're building. But there we go, we've got a cave for ourselves. Let's dive on down here. Regardless of this being a mushroom island, I'm still seeing darkness and I'm still getting scared. I know it's safe. There can't be mob spawns in here unless we're outside of the mushroom island biome, but still equally terrifying. Plenty of things can kill us in here from lava to falling to our death to all those other things. So it's fine. I'm not on edge. It's totally fine. There even is an entire abandoned mine shaft down here. Oh, of course there would be cave spiders. Of course. There's gonna be a cave spider spawner in my mushroom island. Oh, scary, 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 scary. Okay, all right, we can do this. I hear them. I hear the little spidery sounds going all over the place. Uh, I'm just gonna light it up as much as I can. There it is, there's the cave spider. Oh, we have to light this whole area up before they move and I'm just throwing torches. Okay, 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 we're fine, we're fine. We're gonna get them. Oh, yes, okay, there's still two shots. That's good, that's good to know. And just... Oh, dude, he's jumping at me. He's jumping at me. He's jumping at me. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, get that in there. Okay, there's torches. There's another one up there. I think that'll stop the spawning, though. Got an iron pickaxe and a few rails inside the chest here and beetroot seeds. I guess we need it for the farming village. So I'll take those with us. Don't really want them, but I guess we're going to use them. I am way too close to the spawner to be comfortable right there, but I think we got rid of all of the spawnable space with a few torches placed down. And now we can just keep on running through. Oh, there's another. Oh, that's a lot of them. There's a lot of them down here. Oh, he got me. He got me. He got me. Okay, we got to torch this up. Just get it torched. 
I'm thinking those two spider spawners are just out of reach of being able to be activated together, which is kind of a bummer. So no double spider spawner because there's one right over here and there's one right over here. It would be really close. Maybe if we're standing like right in the center of this point, that would be within 10 blocks if we time it really, really well. Mining inside of a mushroom biome is so eerily quiet that every single time I turn a corner, I'm expecting something absolutely terrible to come out and get me. Like I turn around the corner up here, I'm like, oh, big spooky cave. Oh, I really gotta be careful about what's behind me then. Oh my gosh, gold, iron and lava and all that stuff. But there's nothing here. There's not even bats around at this point. And look at this giant pit down here. We've got gold. There's a creeper, there's a creeper. That is outside of the safety zone. This is outside of the safety zone. All of the mob spawns are gonna be right in front of us. We have to get rid of it before he falls down. Ooh. Okay, there's two hits. There's two hits. There's three hits. And dead. Got him. Okay, nothing behind us. We're good. All right, we got to be very careful now. I think this ravine is positioned exactly on the safety border for us. So we're going to have to be very careful. One of the lava, two of, you know, everything else once we get down here. Because I think right now we're at, we're still safe. But we are in the mushroom shore biome which means that we are at the very edge. Just gonna go ahead and uh, stop that lava right there. That's fine, right? Anything gonna drop on us? We are down at Y level 11 now, which is pretty sweet. And there is a lava cave right over here. So I'm just being very overly cautious. Our first redstone and lapis and first diamonds. Oh my gosh, we've done it. We found our first diamonds already. That's, oh, mm, I just gotta make sure I'm ready for this. This cave right here is very much scaring me. So I wanted to explore up here real fast to make sure nothing was gonna jump at us before we mine those diamonds. Please tell me this is more than one. We've got two, we've got three. Oh, good day, good day, good day. We can make a diamond pickaxe. Oh, that's awesome. Let's get one, two, three, and a four right there. Oh, that's great. Oh, we're so good, so good, so good. Do we make a, some, I was about to say diamond shield. Those don't exist. Do we make armor? Like we make diamond boots or I'm thinking the diamond pickaxe is probably, I feel like that's just like you have to do it. Your first diamonds that you find has to be a pickaxe, right? Diamond boots would be worth it if we could get feather falling on them, but I think right now, since we don't have an enchanting setup, probably not the best. I'm thinking that's about a good point in time as any to stop the mining session for the day is, oh, wow. Looks like that's outside of the biome. We're gonna leave. Sweet, sweet sunshine and fresh air. Oh, this is so much nicer. This is so nice coming outside. It's just safe and nice and lovely. And I got my gal friends over here. Oh, it's really cool. I love this island, by the way. This island is really, really awesome. That one over there, I feel like is long and skinny, but we could build a really cool landscape and just entire town and city and stuff in this place after we get our farming village set up. This could be a great expansion of actually building some sort of a, uh, if I don't say it and curse myself in the series right now, some sort of a port town. Huh? Huh? Maybe. We'll see. Back at home base now, and it is time to build our first diamond pickaxe. Oh, that feels good. Oh, let's hold that right here. Yep, there we go. Ooh, the series is getting so much better. I was not expecting that to happen within the first few minutes of this episode here, but oh my gosh. I think what we do next, though, folks, is it's time to do a little bit of building. What's our resource supply looking like? How much cobblestone do we have it looks like uh, just under two th two stacks not quite as much as i was hoping for seemed like everybody was really happy with the roof style that we used over here and a lot of people are actually saying this is almost an ode back to white glen which is something that i built probably four years ago <laughs> at this point which was an old 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 farming village that i loved i thought it was very cool i'm trying to go with a more modernized or more up-to-date style we could say of that one but what we got to do first here is get ourselves a lot of this here oak wood i love that you can just throw a line of saplings down and they will all just grow and you can just chop down all of the trees as you're going and get way too much oak wood and there we go the last little bit is chopped down i'm thinking and how much did that come out to over two stacks of oak wood Oh, that's great. I'm gonna wait for all these leaves to decay and I'll come back over here in a minute and grab the saplings and plant them right back down. Next up, however, what I wanted to build today was actually gonna be a stables. As I might've mentioned earlier, I wanted to tame some horses. So we're gonna be breaking down this wall very quickly, but let's start off from right back over here. So if we bring it off of this way a little bit, and we should probably get the structure planned out before we, you know, you expand the whole area. As we're going for a more of a stables build, I doesn't need to be too massive. I'm thinking just in 
enough space to have three horses in it for now could be pretty good for us. So if we do one guy right in there, we can have another one right over in here. And then instead of just making it being three that go straight across, we can have, so we can have one right here, one right there. And then I'm thinking a little bit of a diagonal. So we can give ourselves probably three blocks diagonally and we can have this stable kind of rounding its way around here because eventually we can move that over to adding some chicken coops and things along the side here and just create this into our little bit of an animal storage area. Now for a little bit of extra interest, I was thinking on this side over here, instead of having a cobble going all the way back, we can have the cobblestone coming out to probably right about here and making it seem like we had an extension where we got a third horse that we wanted to bring out here and he could have a nice lovely home so then we'd bring these guys coming all the way back over here and that'll help break it up too so it's not just cobblestone going all the way around because let's be honest that could be a little boring now horses can definitely be a little bit of a pain in the butt to deal with but i think if we play this right and uh, not waste all of those sticks and planks and everything we can make a bunch of spruce fences and I think these will be able to line themselves all the way along the back here. And then for the front portion, we're probably gonna need to use something more like a fence gate action. I would love to use trap doors, but then you have to double stack trap doors to deal with horses, which can be a little bit more annoying. If we did the fences right back in here and something like that, that would give them a little too wide space, turn all these into some fence gates. And then we can still do something more fun with this archway that hopefully will make it so the horses don't suffocate. I'm thinking we do the same thing just on a larger scale than what we did for our inside doorway in episode one. So we come out over here and just do something right like this. I think that right there can be absolutely awesome. And then I was thinking on the roof of this one, just to mix it up a bit more from what we had there, we can maybe bring in some jungle wood. I don't know. We'll play that by ear for now. This diagonal one is going to be a bit more interesting to deal with as it would have to be coming all the way out to here. So it's going to be a bit skinnier on the front side, and I think I might just forget it for these trapdoors right now. I don't think we'll be able to make those ones work, but I do like this so far. Getting some torches down here as the sun is setting, I think it's going to be a really cool little area we can have some horses in. Now, to make sure we keep this more on the simple side, I was thinking we can go with just a regular old slab roof right here, but using that kind of double thick pattern that we had done previously, and I think it'll give it a really cool look. And uh, from what I'm seeing right here, we're definitely going to have to come back in with using some buttons around here to help thicken it up a bit better and mob proof the tops. I kind of like that. I really enjoy the look of all of the buttons going across there. I know it's a little bit of a weird one, but I think it's actually worked out pretty well for us. So let's go ahead and add a small tower. I think we actually have the stuff on us to be able to do that right now. Uh, we'll figure out the base area once we get in there later. Let's center it on top of this point right here, which would be this block. And then we can have tower centered right there. That'll be perfect. Taking some oak logs and we're just making this one up here as we go. And I'm thinking, 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 thinking is we can bring a few oak planks in right down here at the base to help lighten it up. And then we could bring in spruce fence, spruce fence right up throughout here and just add a little bit of extra height to this guy. From there, we're gonna need some spruce stairs and some spruce slabs so we can actually add the top of the structure onto here. I'm thinking we can go with something rather simple and just have it pointed at the very, very tippy top. So it's gonna be a bit taller than everything else we have helping to break up and add some more bummer, 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 bummer. The goal is to add some more interest into the skyline of our village so far. We only have one house in here right now, but I think a second building can really help to add that. We want to start this early instead of coming back later and being like, oh man, just like that, oh man, is uh, we're out of full blocks of spruce, so using the slabs it is. Bringing up the next layer of the stairs all the way up to the tippy top, doing this guy right here. Y'all might recognize this one. This is my favorite little like three by three tower design that I think I've ever found and I use it way too much. So we can come up here and come up there and we do spruce fence, spruce fence, and spruce fence right there on the top. It looks a little floaty since it's coming down to nothing, but I actually really like that. I think that looks really nice up there. Of course, from down below, we got out a trap door so we can't see through it too much, but that little torch up there will help a lot. Then I was thinking, we could extend this guy down as well as this guy down and it's slowly turning more and more of this area into a bit of a storage section instead of really being um, an area for another horse to stay, which I'm okay with. Or we've kind of divided up into two small little ones right over here on the sides and then we have storage in the center. Huh? Ideas, ideas, they're a flowing. This is giving me major flashback vibes to what I built on the X-Life server a while ago at our Bouflon Ranch, and I'm kind of loving it. So what we need next, however, is a lot more spruce fence gates. So I crafted up a bunch more spruce planks right over here, as you just saw, and I think we're gonna need one, two. Nope, we can't do any more than that, okay. <laughs> 
I also wanted to add an exit point for horses to be able to get in and out. So I was thinking we bring this guy up three, coming back over here, and then we can bring it probably down another one right here. So it's just on the outside. And then we do one, two, and three with the fence gates. And we'll just send him right off over in this direction. We've got all this extra space in here now, which is really cool. But now we've got to make sure it's all mob proof. For now, torches are going everywhere. Path blocks actually are a great way of mob proofing the area too, since they are not spawnable, since they're slightly lower than an actual block. So we can use those to help ourselves get over here a little bit further and have some darker spaces without quite as much of the torch spammage. So that'll be really cool to be able to use later on. It's really quite sad how much of my spruce wood is currently going to buttons and or slabs out here. But you know, we're doing what we got to do to stay alive and we're creating our own style in the process or something, right? And oh my gosh, I don't, I, I'm shy. I'm one shy. Ah, that's frustrating. And you know what? It's going to be a special place for a trapdoor right there and another special place for a trapdoor right there. That's why it's even. It's fine. Nobody will notice, right? What we can do, however, is actually coming back out over here to the end. If I did this last time off camera, just in between episodes, and I really liked it, of bringing this little bit sticking out of the end there. Just something simple like that, of bringing that little chunky bit right there of the slab being on the half slab portion. This does look really good, though. That looks really good really good i'm super happy with this design for the stables so far and i'm thinking it's time do we have a saddle or did i leave it over in the village bread in hand we're headed off to the village i'm thinking today we try and get ourselves one donkey and one horse and see if we can tame them and bring them back home i would honestly love to get a mule i think that would be great i know they're a little bit quicker than the donkeys and they can still store stuff so if we want to do any crazy adventuring we got those guys handy I've watched somebody speedrun Minecraft once. Isn't this enough food to last you through the entire Minecraft game? Isn't that supposed to be how it is? Just all these hay bales and you're done. Or more importantly, we can use them to decorate our horse stables. Ah, yeah, good idea, right? There it is, the saddle. Oh, perfect. I'm so happy I actually left it in there. And then this guy sells leather pants for three emeralds or six leather for one emerald. That could actually be pretty good with like a hoglin farm. Hey, look, another bell to steal. I'm really in it with these guys. We're really in this one together. We're going to help everybody out here. They're going to keep us alive. We're going to keep them alive. And yoink. I just realized there's a bunch of corn flowers out here. And I've got to say, this is probably my favorite Minecraft flower in the entire game. But I kind of want to grab all of these up with us and take them back home and make a small field next to our house. If we can eventually build a flower farm, because I've realized those things are actually really, really good for making a bunch of seeds and everything. And they're pretty easy to set up. I would love to be able to get one that can spawn us some corn flowers hey mr donkey how you doing buddy you wanna you wanna be my best friend you wanna be my best friend huh huh please he's got a good amount of health does not like us instantly did not like us i'm not wasting my hay bales on you buddy we're working through this we can talk about it <gasps> we talked about it oh my gosh we already have a donkey he's actually pretty quick look at this dude oh my gosh are you better are you better he does have one more hit point he has one more health. Please, your best friend right there is now my best friend. So can't we be best friends also? <gasps> he said yes. He said yes. Are you faster? Can't tell. Can't tell. Oh, yeah. The second one was way faster. All right. We're going to use that guy. Hello. Hello, new best friend. Come on in. Come on in. Let's go live in the stables. It's great. Now, you, buddy, are going to stay in there until I can bring you another friend who's going to be a horse and you guys are going to be best friends forever. First and foremost, though, is we have this spot right up in here where we can throw all these cornflowers. Oh, they're so cool. We don't want to spam them on every single block because that can be way too much. But we can get a little bit of a cornflower grove started over here. There's so much colors and life and everything. Nice. And it's perfect. I love it. Before we venture off too far, I always love adding little details around my builds. And I thought of this one right over here. I've used it a few times before and I just love it. It just shows that we're chopping wood. We have a little bit of a wood pile to keep our fire going. Next up, saddle in hand. It is time to check out all these horses. I love this guy's color though. He is very beautiful. There we go. We've tamed him finally. How quick are you? I think you're slower than my donkey. Eh, maybe a little bit quicker. Let's check this guy out over here. I really like the brown colored ones. He's even got a nice white spot on his head. Oh, he is flying. This dude is so quick. And it looks like we might have missed the log. And I forgot about the oak saplings from earlier. Oh, that's a big bummer. Where's the log in here? Let's just get rid of it. Oh my gosh, we have two of them. How do we breed them? Is it apples? I think it might be apples. Or is it golden apples? If it's golden apples, we can't do it quite yet. But if it's apples, we can give it a shot. Do the love hearts start flowing when I give you an apple? You don't, you just, okay, you just took the apples. What about you? Yeah, you're just taking the apples too. Okay, never mind then. For some reason in my brain, I'm thinking it's actually carrots. 
So I think we need golden carrots for this one, or you can use golden apples. Something tells me it's just any of the golden food types will work, maybe except the melons. So we've got two right here for us, just doing a little bit of replanting in there as well and two golden carrots let's see if this is gonna work and if we can get a mule that's gonna be great love hearts love hearts and love hearts and meet your new best friends oh look at that the parrots and the bats and it's so adorable oh my gosh look how cute you are i need a name for the horse for the donkey and for the mule let me know down in the comments below what y'all are thinking for now, the horse is going to be looking after the mule and the donkey can be chilling over here in his own little space. So it'll be totally fine. Definitely wishing I saved some of those hay bales at this point in time because we're uh, pretty low on the food side here. So I'm going to see if we can't gather up our wheat field, get a lot more of this wheat stuff. And then I think it's time that we head back down to the mines for a little while and do a bit of strip mining, collecting up the cobblestone and seeing if maybe, just maybe, we can find another diamond or two. We've got 35 bread for ourselves ready to go over here and I've got a few stacks of torches and it is time to dive underground and do a little bit of strip mining action. Eventually I do want to set up an actual mining point where we can clear out a bunch of space down here which I think would be absolutely awesome but for now this is uh this is what we got. Is this cave safe? I can't remember if we explored all of this cave, but regardless, we're just gonna keep on headed straight down here. We're at Y level 21 right now. Gonna use the rest of this iron pickaxe. I got the diamond one in my inventory, and for now, just to make sure nothing follows us, let's, uh, did I actually line this up perfectly? I did, wow. I love when stuff like that happens, but we're just gonna keep on headed straight down this way. There we are, Y level 11. This is the big question for you all though. Is it better to mine at 11 or 12? I think it's 11, but I'm really not too sure. Cause 11 means that 12 is where your eyeballs are and your feet are down at the 11. So I don't really know, but we've got our nice little spot right in here that we can slowly expand out into a branch mine. Torch on the ground in the center so we can start just moving off in a few directions. I'm out here for cobblestone right now and anything else that we get is gonna be a bonus on top of that. So if we find any shiny things, I'll let you know. Woo! Ooh, diorite very shiny my favorite and a lavas okay i oh i did bring a bucket wow look at me i'm prepared everybody oh professional and there's a creeper over there not prepared for that i was reading through the comments of the first video and actually just finished up a twitch stream recently so you know right before the video is supposed to go live and so many people mentioned they're like flip it really sounds like you have ptsd from the creepers every time you encounter one from the first series and i was like you're right i do i'm not hiding it <laughs> It's okay though, it's just one of them. Nobody else can be around us, no other holes for them to jump out of. Perfect, and let's just deal with you real fast here. Making sure he doesn't explode because I would love all these resources. We need one more hit on him, and there we take him out. Perfect, okay. I think give me a week or two and give me full enchanted diamond armor, and as soon as I get that blast protection enchant, then we're gonna be totally fine. But for now, I'm just like, ooh, I ate him. This is an absolutely massive lava pool over here. We might be able to get something along. I always feel like, you have to explore along these lava pools if you have a bucket of water with you, because there can be so much stuff. You just gotta watch an open cave above you is the big problem. Oh, oh my God, we found some diamonds. Look at that right here. I'm hearing some bubbling lava around us though. So I think we gotta reveal everything in here. So far we do have four and there's the lava. I knew it. Using some gravel to save ourselves a little bit of a struggle here. I think we could just do this and fill up the entire area. Hopefully we have enough, because I would love to be able to get underneath. I'm seeing four diamonds so far though, with a fifth down here and even more lava underneath. Oh God, I just want the diamonds, please. This is what you would call a trap. All right, I think it's just the five of them. And for now we do need to get an enchanting table and get some other stuff rocking. So if we take two, that's enough for an enchanting setup right there. And we also have one back at home for a third, but I'm thinking we just grab all of them so we can make another pickaxe just to have that safety measure if we don't have to step back down to iron. But there we go, five of the bling blings. I think we're about as far out as we need to be on this here tunnel. So for now, I'm thinking I can go every few blocks and we're just gonna do these little tiny pokey holes and that's revealing a lot. Okay, well, I guess it worked. The pokey hole was a success. Anything up here that wants to kill us? Anybody, I'm charging in. I'm at the ready. There is creepers, I'm not at the ready. I am not ready any further. There's two of them, there's two of them. I do not like having two. Oh God, oh God, get me the tunnel. This is horrifying. I hate every minute of this. 
There's one down. Okay, well, they're both down, actually. That's, that's better. That's, that's better. A little bit more calm now. Oh, we've got a skeleton, and we've got a zombie villager. We blocked our first arrow. Get him. Get him. Go get him. Go get him, zombie. Get him. Beat him up. Beat up the skeleton. Yeah, we'll beat him up together. It's great. Oh, my gosh. Hi, zombie. How are you? Where did you sneak up on me from? I didn't even hear your footsteps. Oh, that was bad. We're gonna block that off. Nobody can get through here now, okay? Just babies. Oh my gosh, we found some more diamonds over here. Check that out. We've got one, we've got four. Four more diamonds for ourselves. That is gonna be great, but I wanna leave them until we can get fortune. Cause I think right now we've got enough in the way of the diamond action to be able to get an enchanting table. We just gotta get up to level 30 and then starting to fish for that fortune three. Leaving the torch as a marker on the floor right here so we know that those guys are right back in here and it's mob proof back here. Yes, yes it is. That's good, 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 good. And it's daytime. I do love to see me some daytime as we exit the mines. Perfect, it's gonna be a little bit more safe up here. Really gotta figure out a better storage system for this, but we've got ourselves a whole nother stack of iron right there, which is awesome. And then we've also got another 25 down there. Then a 21 gold ore for us to smelt up later on. Ooh, I am so excited about that. Gonna start turning all of these things into blocks to help condense the storage just a touch, especially all this redstone. Up to a grand total of six diamonds here. I'm loving that, absolutely loving that. I can't help it. I gotta do at least a little bit of storage organization in here before we get too many things rocking. It's just one of those chores that has to happen. This thing was an absolute mess, looking terrible. This was an absolute mess, and it's at least looking better along the bottom with all of the riches down here. But that, my friends, is going to have to do it for today's episode. I really do hope you all have enjoyed this one. Thank you so very much for all of the support so far on the series. I'm really happy to see everybody is joining and excited for it. Over the weekend, we're going to have the next episode of the Amplified Survivor World, then return to this stuff starting off again next week for episode number three. As always, any ideas you have, let me know down in the comments below. A lot of people said very positive things about moving to the Mushroom Island, so I'm thinking we will start a villager-based city over there and have a lot of very cool builds and i'm super pumped up for but thank you again so very much for the support if you haven't already click that like button subscribe if you have not and you are brand new thanks for stopping by the channel and my friends i will catch you on the flip side